Hello everyone, Nathan here once again with another Mind Test Mind Review. Today we are looking at the, um, honestly I'm not sure if it's pronounced Gloop Test or Glop Test, or what exactly it's supposed to be called, but we're looking at it anyways. This mod was actually requested to be reviewed on my website, nathansalpat.com slash mindtest is where you will find that form. Um, and basically we get a couple new tools, we get a hammer and a handsaw. Um, which are available to craft with, you know, all your standard ores, and then the ores that this mod adds as well. Um, and we have this K-Lite, I'm assuming it's pronounced, um, ore that I found right there at the surface. So that's pretty cool, but first I want to go use this steel saw on a tree. Because, well, it would only make sense that you would use a saw on trees, would it not? So... I don't know, it doesn't seem to be super better than an axe. Whoa! Whoa! -ho -ho. Look at it on these leaves, though. No axe would cut through leaves that quick. So, looks like handsaw are for leaves. And actually, from reading the code, it's for items that have snappy. Which would be leaves. Um, and if anything else, of course that is put into the snappy group. Let's actually, I am using unified inventory here, of course, because come on, you know that's what I do. Let's grab, we have a, what is this? It's a steel, so let's grab a steel axe. And we're just going to do a little speed comparison here. Oh yeah, see how long it's taking to get through these leaves with an axe? I feel like done instantly with the handsaw. Now if we go to the tree trunk though, and we'll just we go through that pretty quick with an axe. Definitely takes longer with the handsaw. So, yeah, moral of the story is, don't use your handsaw for cutting trees down, but if you want to cut leaves down, definitely use your handsaw over the axe. Now, the other tool that is added, and let's turn it back to daytime, because he likes doing stuff in the dark, is the diamond hand. Well, what is that? Why is there a box? I did not place that there. Alright, anyways, let's, um, let, what am I trying to do here? I want a steel hammer. Um, what? Oh. Okay, I don't know what I was just showing you there. That's not what you want to know. Give me a steel hammer. Now, I'm not really sure what hammers are for. Definitely not for cutting wood. Nope, they're not really too good at that. Okay, it does go through stone, though. Let's get a steel pickaxe and see how the two compare. Now... I probably should just look at the code to see what these do. You know, a steel pickaxe is still faster than the steel hammer. Yeah, we're definitely faster with this pickaxe. Okay, so the question then is... What's the hammer for? What are these... There's, these things are all over the place. What is going on? Is this something that this met odds, or what is this? Ho-ho! So it is. Pointing at glop test, treasure chest 2 default. Okay, I didn't know this did treasure chests. Treasure chest rank 2. Stone handsaw, stone pickaxe, coal lump, stone hammer, stone, desert stone. Cool. Um, can we take this chest? Okay, evidently not. All right. Well, I seen one right over, over here. Oh, and there's one over there. And there's one. And it looks like there's one way out there. treasure chest rank one with wooden tools and sticks hmm okay so we get some nice little perks in the way of treasure chests here's another one um i honestly didn't even know these were part of this so that's pretty cool um just grab that let's go back and find that k-light ore that was sitting around out here 
if I can remember where that was. Um, over the other side, down by the water's edge. Because obviously one lump is not enough. Well, I suppose I probably could make a shovel out of one lump. I would imagine a shovel only needs one. However, ooh, cool, I got two lumps out of that, out of that block. There's another one over here, let's run grab this real quick, and then let's build up a shovel. Ooh, and there's some purple stuff, Is what is this purple stuff? Alitro? Oh, wow, this is pretty sweet. Well, I'm going to have to imagine that these ores are probably not too special, seeing as how they are so readily available. I mean, that's more common than steel right now. All right, let's let's build some stuff. Oh, I didn't take those sticks? Boy, what a dummy I was. It's all right. Here's some sticks, sorry. Let's see if we can't build a pick. Wait, what? Do I have to process these lumps? I bet I do. All right. Well, in that case, let's build ourselves a furnace real quick. And let's put the furnace right there. Let's throw our coal in there. Okay, so we don't process them in a furnace. But this one does? What? Electro ingot. So what do I do with this Kellite lump? Ruby. K.A. Light. Let's see what happens if I search that. Oh, so it's it's a fuel then I take it. Hmm. All right. Well, let's try. We'll throw those in there, and we'll throw jungle. Okay. I evidently can't burn that. Oh, cobblestone. All right. So this. These act as a fuel. Alright. Well, that's pretty snazzy. So instead of just coal, we now have this... This Calite thing, which... Let's just grab two stacks of torches of those real quick. It looks like they pretty much just applied a red hue to it. Which... Totally don't have a problem with. I mean... That's what you want to do. All right, that's cool. Cool enough. Let's. Oh yeah, back to what we were trying to do originally, but couldn't do because I had to cook those. Alitro pickaxe. Let's see how that stacks up against a steel pickaxe. And then, because we've got three left, um, see how it stacks up against. A steel axe. Alright, so let's find some stone and get a move on. Ooh, big puddle. I would have to say they're about the same. I'm not really noticing a big difference. So yeah, I'd say they're probably the same. Um, maybe durability is different. It's always possible. You could make one more durable than the other. But yeah, really not noticing a huge speed difference there. So I'm guessing there won't be too much speed difference with the axe, but let's check it out anyway. I'm going to say they're about the same. Okay, I'm seeing another treasure chest here. I just want to take a quick little peek at this. See what is in there. 
Well, I've got to say, it's as many treasure chests as you get out here. You're surely getting some decent stuff out of them. And I'll probably die if I jump. Yeah, that would be for sure dying. So, how about I don't do that? And how about instead... If we... Do a little cheating... Alright, we'll just turn no clip on. And we'll try to find a cave system. Hmm. No ore is in there. This looks pretty warm. Like, very warm to the point where you would die warm. What do we have here? We have... I think that's just... That's plain old copper. But what is this blue stuff? That is a sapphire. Cool, cool. Oh. Alright. Whoops, 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 whoops. I think I just put myself outside of the world. No, let's do this. So we have some place to fall. And I kind of feel like I'm still floating in the air for some reason. Oh! Duh! Because I didn't turn free move off. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we got these sapphires here. But I can't... Well, no, that's weird. So I can't mine the sapphire... With... The... Whatchamacallit here. Ultra pickaxe. But the steel pickaxe works just fine. And evidently you can't build tools with sapphire? Let's find out real quick. What do you use sapphire for? Turn to a sapphire block. I guess that's it. Or an encrusting upgrade. If we have... Wait, what? No, there's no sapphire in there. Oh, 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 my bad. This will use any gem. So we have the... Oh, let's go back up here. Uh, we have the ruby. We have the sapphire. We have topaz. And I think that's it for... For the gems. Yeah, that's it for the gems. Upgrade core. Okay, so anyway. Hmm. Anyway, you have a different... Any gem you can use to make this encrusting upgrade. So basically... Groups of the gems, this upgrade core, which, of course, is made out of this acolin ingot, a crystal glass, which is made out of crystal and desert stone, or vice versa, crystal and desert stone, which can be used to make all these different crystal glasses. But the one we're interested in is this one, because that gives us an upgrade core, which we can then use to make this, which has no usages, but I want one. Anyway, encrusting upgrade. No idea what that does, honestly. Let's turn no clip back on. And let's go back out into the wide, wide world of underground labyrinths and caverns. More of this... There's a lot of lava in this particular world I'm in. Ooh, 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 ooh. Topaz? Topaz! Oh, and we've got some... Arrow? Arrow? I don't know how to announce that. Whee! Whoa, whoa. Now 
Let's stick him through a block, of course. I like doing that. <laughs> okay, so. Rather than keep on keeping on about nothing at all, let us overview our different tools here. So we've got all of our different minerals and ores. The ores can be used with only the glob test tools, evidently. Your swords, you still just get normal swords. Wait, 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 wait. I take that back. What am I saying here? Of course, they wouldn't be organized with the swords. They'd be organized with this. So you can make... So you get two ores, the alatro and a roll, that you can use to make your pickaxes, your shovels, your swords. And that looks like it's about it. There is no recipe for the treasure chest. They just spawn in world. You have all your different rubies and jewels and such, which can be used, well, the ores anyways, can be used for the tools. And then all of your normal tools, all of your normal ores, rather, including wood, which is obviously not an ore, and stone, which isn't an ore, you can use to make your hand saws and the wooden hammers. And then your gems can be used to make this... Where is it now? That encrusting upgrade thing? Which says it has no usages, and I'm not sure... If you wouldn't use it in a recipe, what would you use it in? What are you upgrading with it? I'm confused. What, what do we upgrade? Is this... Is this a food? Can we eat this? Nope. I didn't imagine you'd be able to. Can we use it as a tool? Um, a tool against sand, evidently. But not against cacti. Well, that makes sense. Because, you know... We'd want to go around using this little amulet thing as a tool. Oh, I can't mine ores with it. Well... Enough of my talking and rambling on and on and on. Let's finish this up. So, as always, guys and gals, though according to statistics, like 97% of you are guys. Um, little, little tidbit of trivia. As always, the download link will be in the description. As will... What else will be in the description? The download link? Oh, and the link for it on the form, and then of course the link to it on my website, which I will have everything linked again there, because that's just what I do on my website. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you again next week with another Mind Test Mod Review.